Hi, this is Rachel Barnett from Gentle Frog. In today's video of QuickBooks Training, I'm going to show you how to use the item list. using QuickBooks Online for this example, and in QuickBooks Online it's called the Products and Services list. In short, it's the drop-down list that you use when you create invoices and credit memos for clients. There's a couple other applications, but that's going to be your primary one. So I'll show you what it looks like on an invoice, and then I'll go back and show you where to find it in your QuickBooks and how to edit it. On the left-hand side of my screen, I'm going to click on New. I'm going to go down into the Customers column and select Invoice. This also works for sales receipt and credit memos. I'm just using invoice for this example. So I'll type in my customer. In this case, I'll pick cool cars. And then here I've got the product and services, and that's what we're going to talk about in this video. So the product and service list, this is a list of things you might sell to somebody. So I'm going to choose on the drop down. I'm going to choose concrete. I'm going to sell a quantity of one concrete. I'm going to sell it for $100. Then I'm just going to say save and close. So I've now sold a concrete. We don't know where it shows up on the profit and loss report. So I'm going to go ahead and show you where to find that. In the upper right hand corner, if you click on the gear, go to the second column for list and then go down to products and services. We've got a list of our products and services here. This is our concrete. If I go to the right and I click on edit, I can see where it's going to show up on the profit and loss report. When I look at this, it says that the income account tied to concrete, it's going to be the income called landscaping services, the sub account called job materials, and the sub sub account fountains and garden lighting. So let me go ahead and click save and close. I'm going to show you what this looks like on the profit and loss report. I'm going to click on the left hand side of my screen, click on reports. I'm going to go to profit and loss. I'm going to click on today's date, 0302-2020, run report, and then here's my $100 for the invoice I just created. So let me go back to the products and services and talk to you a little bit more about this list. So when I see concrete on the list, I know that it goes to that income account. I know because I clicked on edit and I found it in the drop down list. If I wanted to know where it went and I don't want to click edit for every single one of these, I can customize this list. I'm going to go up to the top and I'm going to click on the little gear. Earlier we clicked on the big gear in the upper right hand corner. This time we're going to click on the little gear. When I click on the little gear, I'm going to go ahead and say, please show me the income account related to each of these items. I'm going to go ahead and expand the column so that I can read it a little bit better. So now I can see it. And when I look at concrete, I can see it's landscape serve. I'm going to go ahead and keep expanding so I can read the rest of it. In your QuickBooks, you may choose not to have sub accounts with sub accounts and so on and so forth. You might just have a single account, such as design income or sales or product income. I just wanted to let you know where you could find the account listing without having to click on edit for every single thing in your drop down list. One of the neat things that I can do is I can say, you know, I realize that my concrete is going to this account, and that's great, but I bet there's other things going to that account, and I really want to know how much I've sold in terms of my concrete. I can click the drop down to the right hand side of concrete and I can say run report. I can see in the last 90 days I've sold this concrete item three times and this is who I've sold it to. I think that's kind of a cool report you can pull. Another thing that I can do if I want is I can see which of my products and services I'm selling and how much of my total sales is each type of product and service. This is going to be useful so that I know which, which ones to market more heavily than others. On the left hand side of my screen, I'm going to click on reports. I'm going to go find it by report name. I can't remember the name I'm looking for exactly, so I'm just going to type in product. And when I type in product, it brings up all the reports that relate to products and services. I encourage you to do this and to kind of look around and see what you might find interesting. For the purpose of this example, I'm going to show you the sales by product and service summary. In the upper left hand corner, I'm going to change the date range. I'm just going to say all dates for the purpose of this video and then say run report. 
I can now see what I'm selling the most of. Rock Fountain is my biggest of the things I sell, followed by design services and so forth. So when you're thinking about the stuff that you sell, it may feel like you're selling a lot of one thing or a lot of another thing. This is a really useful report to tell you which one you're selling the most of. So you've got the quantity in the first column, you've got the dollar amount you're selling it for, the percentage of your sales, and the average price. Hopefully you find this information interesting. If you have any questions about products and services or QuickBooks in general, please leave them in the comments. I definitely want to help you. Thank you so much. Thank you.